Breaking news, the auction house will return in season six of my team via 2K patch notes. It's no way that the auction house could return. And I'm gonna give you two reasons why the auction house could not return. Yo, hold on Jones, what is PUBG going through? Approaching the landing zone, ETA 30 seconds, over. Copy that out for one, you're entering uncharted territory. You ready for anything, over. Roger that HQ. Roger that H. Oh my gosh. So wait a minute. We're going home. PUBG is tripping. How are we getting off the island? We get to go. I don't know. This is looking kind of crazy. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. So what exactly is this though? Because I mean, it could be big, but like this tweet underneath here says, this could be another cash grab and we know that video game companies are really with the cash grab at this point they're really just trying to get a quick buck with a quick gimmick and they don't care if if we're satisfied with what we get as long as we get content it's like the content creation revolution has changed the way that everything works these days everything is coming at us a mile a minute it's a thousand million ideas at a time and it, you just have to put something out, make a return on it and then move on to the next. And it's like it's like the TikTok, YouTube shorts, 30 seconds, one minute, a little bit of time and you get it and get out and get gone and on to the next idea. So this could be a gimmick. We're living in the age of gimmicks and eh. This guy here says it's literally nothing false hype for some cash grab update. I'm saying like, okay, okay. I'm, I, I, I spend a little dough on 2K. I spend a little dough when it comes to 2K. I do, I do. But I stopped spending on PUBG so, oh my gosh. PUBG, I mean, because it's cosmetic. And I, I would say the same for, well, maybe Fortnite's different. I, I spend on Fortnite. I would spend on Fortnite. I would grab some V-Bucks. I would spend something on Fortnite. I wanted to grab some of the skins that came out. Every time I see a new skin, it's like, oh, that's that's cool. I would I would mess with that. But I mean, for this gimmicky situation, this gimmicky type of type of industry, just where the industry is now, like this guy says it's an April Fool's joke. And that brings me to another April Fool's joke I saw. This one was funny. This boy Warlow back with his other my team video. He he's a genius with this one. This is hilarious. Breaking news. The auction house will return in season six of my team via 2K patch notes. Let's go look at the patch notes because he could. I mean, he might not be capping, but this seems like an April Fool's joke all the way around the board because it's no way that the auction house could return. And I'm going to give you two reasons why the auction house could not return. And before we get too far ahead of ourselves, before we go too far in the game, let's dig into these Mickey Ficky patch notes. This must be April 1st. It must be April Fool's. Hey, it is what it is. Before we go too far though, let's get into these patch notes. Let's see what's coming up for us for season six. Lock in. Kobe. All right, and in general, for new gen, in general, Preparations for NBA 2K24, Season 6, launching Friday, April 5th. Stay tuned for what we have in store is what they want you to do. The short numbers on the Los Angeles Lakers 2018 city uniform has been removed. The coloring on the sponsor patch for the Dallas Mavericks uniforms has been adjusted. The sponsor patch for the Atlanta Hawks uniform has been updated. Pending next roster update, the new city court for the New Orleans Pelicans has been added. The new city court for the Memphis Grizzlies has been added. The DM Hart decal has been added to the Golden State Warriors court in honor of Dejan. We, we, we talked about Big Homie. Kia branding has been added to the Orlando Magic Arena to reflect the recent real life update. And they've adjusted the coloring for accuracy in the center logo on the New York Knicks court. So, I mean, that's just in generalities, just 
cosmetic updates that they've thrown into the game for people who care. If you care, I got to report it to you. Gameplay wise, we just have one clip in here for gameplay. Gameplay. Devin Booker's spin jumper requirement has been adjusted to match the rest of his animations and is now available to players 6'9 and under. What we can be looking for in the city, Pro-Am, Rec, Theater, and my career, various improvements to performance, stability, and visuals have been made to enhance the overall experience in the city and throughout my career. Wow, 2K. Got wow, it. that's heavy. Various improvements. Y'all hit us with the various improvements. That's what y'all did. Okay, and in my team, they've resolved a rare hang that could occur within my team menus. They fixed a rare issue that could be caused that could cause duplicate menus to appear incorrectly for shoe cards. Okay. And they've updated agendas that require fast break points to properly count four pointers in clutch time modes. As far as the NBA, my NBA and the W, they've resolved a rare hang that could occur in my NBA when staff relationships are updated. Man, look, if y'all want to join the NBA 2K community, I can I can put the link in the description for you. You can join. I mean, a lot goes on there. You can keep up with the game there. So you'll find that in the description. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, because we need that. Oh, and did you enter this, this Easter locker code? Hop into my team. Get you an Ascension pick. Go get that. You want it. I mean, I didn't get much out of it, but it's a locker code. It's more than we could have asked for. I mean, I didn't expect to see one. The way things been going, I mean, hey. I'm not gonna lie though, with that mobile update, they really did get me playing mobile. They got me out there with them seven, the seven Easter eggs that we could grab from the mobile game. I went and I, I mean, I had a good time. At first, the controls were a little bit wonky. Not gonna hold you. The controls were different, like trying to control that game on mobile. But then I got smart enough to connect my xbox controller to my phone through the bluetooth connection and things changed it was a little bit better to uh to just get the movements right playing on a controller so i mean that's that for that part of that i did connect the controller i was smart enough to say hey self you got a bluetooth controller and your phone got bluetooth so go ahead and get your bluetooth on so you can go ahead and get right, right? It only made sense. So I went ahead and did that. I got my, I got my eggs. We got our eggs. We had a good time getting the eggs too. I'm not gonna lie. I think I might be mobile 2K my team made. I might be mobile made. I'm not gonna hold you. I just might be Mr. Mobile. You know what I'm saying? And I, I mean, okay, the connection is sketchy when I airplay from my console to my phone, but the connection on the mobile game is actually butter smooth. The connection is really good on the mobile app. I'm not gonna hold you. And I'm not here to sell the game to you. I'm not here to like be a ear for 2K or be a mouthpiece for 2K, but the mobile game was kinda, it was fun. I can't hold you, I have fun doing it. It was a different experience. And then after I connected the controller, it really was a fun time. I can't be, I mean, I can't be any more transparent than that when letting you know, you know, my letting my community know that my team on the mobile device, the mobile app is pretty freaking fun. I felt like I had an upper hand. I felt like I was sending them boys to the upper room, the upper room. Yeah, but I mean, anyway, that's neither here nor there. We six minutes in and I think I got a couple more things to tell you about. Oh yeah, two surefire concrete reasons why we'll never see the auction house ever again. Reason number one, they made too much money. They're making entirely too much money off of us ripping packs to get Damian Lillard when they have a hundred overall bait out there. It's no way, it's no way for us to win at that point. 
I mean, at that at this rate, there's no way for us to turn it around and say, hey, it's a good idea to give them the auction house back. It's no way for them to do that. They're making too much money. They got too much good bait. They got too much room. To, they run things at this point. Reason number two is because you can buy MT directly from 2K. They're selling the MT now. There would be no bait that would kill their bait. Their 100 overall bait would be done. There would be 100 overall cards on the auction house for 4 million MT. Yeah, they may be able to sell 4 million MT, but they would sell more MT without that card being on the auction house because you would be pulling packs at a hope of getting that card or you would just be buying whatever we set the price to be on the auction house so that you can go ahead and just buy that card straight out. I know what I'm saying. I hope that you can follow what I'm saying, but just for the sake of the slow guys in the back, I'm going to say it one more time. The second reason why they'll never bring back the auction house is because we control the auction house. As a community, we control and set the prices of what we deem these cards to be valued at. We set the price of the value of the cards as a collective. It's what the masses say each card is worth. And without the auction house, it is what 2K sets the price at and says these cards are worth when they decide to put them on the player market. As you can see, we do not have any good cards on the player market at this point. We have 96 overalls on the player market. So they set that collective. The highest cards you can get with money guaranteed is a 96 overall. They set that president, they're in control of that, and they're the only ones that can control that. They will never put the auction house back in the game because we can control these prices with an auction house. And that's my TED talk. Thanks for coming out. Funk Master Flex Knight. Oh, and 2K, what happened to them? Uh them fair chances at every card in the game on that auction house, on that, on that my player market. I'm sorry I lied to you, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.